Welcome to another edition of Pray As You Go, a short prayer session of 10 minutes or so where we sincerely believe that your expectations are turned into manifestations to the glory of God. Welcome, welcome, welcome to chapter 51 of Pray As You Go. This session we're praying about hope and the title of our prayer this week is There Is Hope For My Future. As we go to the end of this resurrection month, we want to declare that there is hope for our future. The scripture, we're going to focus on one scripture this week. And that's in Jeremiah 31, verse 16 to 17. Jeremiah 31, verse 16 to 17. And it's the NLT version. And it says, but this is what the Lord says. Do not weep any longer, for I will reward you. Your children will come back to you from the distant land of the enemy. There is hope for your future. Your children will come again to their own land. Your children will come again to their own land. Just for context, I'll read the Good News translation of the same chapter 31, verses 16 to 17 of Jeremiah. It says, stop your crying and wipe away your tears. All that you have done for your children will not go unrewarded. They will return from the enemy's land. There is hope for your future. Your children will come back home. Your children will come back home. We're going to pray our prayer points. It does not really, let us not take this as meaning our physical children alone. It's not because you have rebellious children and that's the only reason why these prayer points are relevant. I want to say that where your health is not behaving as God wants it to, then that health is being held in the land of the enemy. Where your finances are not responding to or corresponding to your labor, then the person is in debt instead of being in abundance. That finances has been held in the land of the enemy. So let us pray. 
we're going to thank the Lord and say, oh, Lord, I thank you because your promises to me never fail. You are a God of yes and amen. Thank you because my hope is in you. My hope is not in my ability. My hope is not in my strength. My hope is not in my wisdom. My hope is in you. I thank you because you are there for me to hope in. Thank you, Lord. We're going to pray again and say, Lord, where I have lost hope and given up in any situation over any issue, by your mercy, help me up. Your word says that if I give up in the time of adversity, then my strength is small. By your mercy, Lord, increase my strength, increase my strength, increase my strength, increase my strength in the name of Jesus. We're going to pray again and say every land of the enemy that is holding my children captive, that is holding my prophet captive, that is holding the rewards of my labor captive, that is holding my health captive. I say, give up now, give up now, give up now, give up now. Give up now. Release my children, release my profit, release my marriage, release my health, release them now in the name of Jesus. We're going to pray again and say, I decree and I declare that there is hope for my future. There is hope for my children's future. I know that the thoughts for, of God for me are good and not evil, to give me a hope and a future. Therefore, any area of my life that is in misalignment, I align you now to the word of God. I align you now to the will of God. I align you now to the word of God. I align you now to the will of God. In the name of Jesus, we're going to pray, O oh Lord of hosts, let my children come to their own land according to your word. Oh, Lord of hosts, let my health come to its own land. Let my finances come to their own land. Let my ministry, my business, my career come to their own land in the name of Jesus. I, I ask them to leave the land of the enemy and come to their own land. Let them leave the will of the devil and come to align with God's will in the name of Jesus. Finally, we're going to just ask the Lord, let your kingdom come in my life. Let your will be done in every area of my life. Let your will be done. Let your kingdom come. It reminds me of a song that says, Father Lord, let your kingdom come. Father Lord, let your will be done. Let your kingdom come in my life. Let your will be done in my home. Your kingdom come in my family. Your will be done in my children's life. Your kingdom come in my health today. Your will be done in my finances. Father, Lord, Father, Lord, let your kingdom come. Father, Lord, let your will be done. Your kingdom come in my ministry. Your will be done in my life. Our Father and our Lord, we commit this end of April unto you. This resurrected resurrection month. As we go into the month of May, the month of grace, we say we have a hope in our future. We see you in our future. We say there is hope for our future. We say wherever our children are in the land of the enemy, we bring them back into their own land. According to your word, wherever our health has gone far astray into the land of the enemy, we bring that health back in the name of Jesus. Every imagination, every thought, everything that does not align itself with the word of God, we subject you under the authority of the kingdom of God today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, there is hope for our future. Lord, there is hope for our future. Lord, there is hope for our future. We decree it and we declare it and we believe it. Lord, that anything in our life that does not align to, with the will of God begin to align from today. We walk into the month of 
of May with our heads held high. We walk into the month of May knowing that uh, there is hope for our future. We walk into the month of May knowing that we are not captive in the land of the enemy. We remove ourselves. We release ourselves. We release ourselves from the land of the enemy today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father and our Lord, because we know you have heard us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you once again for joining me in prayer. This chapter 51, as we go into the month of May, continue to confess and pray this. And surely there is a hope for you. The Bible says your expectation will not be cut short. The song, the scriptures and the prayer points are in the description box below as usual. Please comment, like and subscribe for future notifications. And until next time, when I come your way again, there is hope in your future. Amen. Shalom. <laughs>